Parigani. Good morning. Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, December 6, 2020. Here are first Community Infants Incorporated. Okay, tonight in Hamilton Street, versus New York, in the South Wedge. Well, Quantum is present and observed year round. Well, Quantum was in. Was in just community Rochester 30 years ago, but our minister, Minister Evans, and his wife, Sister Killer, were not ancestors. This is our first, first truth Kwanzaa in a pandemic. Very interesting. It's very different. First truth in Kwanzaa. You all can be together holding hands, the same prayers like we normally do this year because of the virus. So you just stay apart to be safe. It is what it is. Amen. Got a lot going on this week in the world. Main thing in the news this week is the increasing COVID um, hospitalization rates and infections in our community as of December the 5th. 70 positivity rate in the county was almost 7%. As, as of the fifth, total of 350 people, 352 people have died since, since, since the pandemic began in March. 350 people. And I can those go to all 250 families. Nationwide, we are around 280,000 deaths from the, from the virus. May all those folks rest in peace as well. As we saw the situation in, in our community, the city and county are partnered to um, set up drive through COVID test sites for free, the rapid test in four locations in the city and two locations in um, Brian and Ranaquai, one location each. And um, now I'll put a link in the bottom of the video. We'll talk about the, the location see a little later on. Um, I was reading and in the senior's prayer, a doctor from Marcus Region that's um, concerned that there's a shortage of nurses and respiratory therapists in Marcus Regional Hospitals. The governor is now focusing more on hospital capacity. He's concerned that um, although there's increase in um, community spread, primarily through um, in home gatherings that's caused this increase in rate in um in spread of the of the virus. So his his concern now the governor is um how we must keep um so contingency plans as far as um their beds and personnel and he used that one of his main methods now to see as far as the um the three color zones yellow, orange, and red. Okay, what else going on in our in, um, Black culture? Um, this week, we celebrated birthdays of our ancestors like Reverend Adam Clayton Powell, Arthur Chadwick Boseman, Richard, Richard Pryor, Councilman Shirley Chisholm. Also this week on so the first was the anniversary for the parks refused to get up from the Percy on the bus in Mon Montgomery, Alabama. So it was um, so we did, um, sessions of Fred Hampton from the Chicago Church of the Black Panthers, who was shot dead in, in his sleep, 1969. We also celebrate um, um, Nelson Mandela, President Nelson Mandela, South Africa, who passed in 2013. We also lost um, 
Olympic um, legend Richard Field. He was 86 when he transferred this past week. Um, after the Olympics in 1960, he won a gold medal, and um, also made claim of fame. He um, he helped to do personal assassinated Senator Robert Kennedy in 1968. May he rest in peace. And I can just go to his family and friends. Amen. <clears throat> Okay, we got jam pack. Got jam pack on program today. Squans appreciation, Bari Ghani. Okay, our form is a little bit longer today. We have a welcome, financial anthem, scripture reading, Deuteronomy 26 verse 2, news update. Ball campaign summary, policy statement, how many of us have a COVID first fruits quantity season, connecting resources in Russia's Monroe County, announcements and thank yous, first fruits quantity schedule, 984 press release or the top of men's kill about Kwanzaa, Psalm 23, remember about bus from the past, this is a killer song for Kwanzaa in your life, Minnesota's archive speech. And um, two closing quotes. Okay, we'll play for the Black Nation Anthem. Woman the Calabash. Enjoy.
Amen. That was one of the Calabash with a version of the very voice and sing. I'm this is Uman Oni, your host for today's first one Dodge Hour, Quantum Appreciation Program. Amen. Cascadia Reigns came from Deuteronomy 26, verse 2. It's as follows. That thou, shalt, that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth, which thou shalt bring of thy land, that the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shall put it in a basket, and shall go into the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. Okay. May the Lord bless those in his holy word. Amen. A news update is taken from the St. Louis, St. Louis American, St. Louis, Missouri. From the November 29th issue, National Urban League works, okay, I think it's a typo in the title, it should be works with, but I'm reading what they have exactly. Works like medical professionals to ensure virus vaccine is safe and equitably distributed. Came by Mark, Mark Morial, CEO of the National Urban League. This week, just as a nation reached the tragic milestone of more than a quarter million deaths from the coronavirus. Since for disease control revealed that Black, Latino, and Native American people are being hospitalized and nearly four times the rate of whites. Then after the CDC's findings were reported, some university researchers published a study that found more than half of hospital deaths from the virus were Black or Hispanic patients. Bringing the pandemic under control in the United States is also controlling it in the worst hit communities. That starts with the guidance and expertise of Black health professionals. For the last several months, a task force formed by the nation's oldest Black physicians group has been monitoring the development of a COVID-19 vaccine. The National Medical Association Task Force of Infectious Disease and immunization experts have been reviewing the data to confirm the strength of scientific evidence that diversity is represented in clinical trials. Quote, we've been, we're really doing it to be a source of trusted information for physicians in our community. In order for us to speak to the safety and allocation within the African American community, quote, NMA President Leon McDougal told CBS News. National Urban League has joined for in that effort, initiating a first of its kind of conversation between Black journalists and coalition of Black health professionals, including the, NB, the NMA, excuse me. The Black Coaches Against COVID-19 have partnered with Meharry Medical College, Harvard University College of Medicine, Morris School of Medicine, Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science, National Black Nurse Association, and BlackDoctor.org. On December 10th, we will present National Army League, that is, a town hall meeting on the development and distribution of a vaccine. Okay, and I believe it's all these groups I'll be doing this ton together. I think I put it on my calendar to, to watch. It'll be on, um, I'll put a link as well to this town hall meeting and on a video as well. So it'll be, it'll be a virtual um, conversation. As the Urban League has repeatedly de demanded that any vaccine plan avoid the mistakes that were made with test distribution, test distribution in the spring. Rather than rely largely on private physicians and chain pharmacies, largely absent from poor black neighborhoods, distribution must incorporate community-based providers like churches, other based organizations, community centers, and urban league affiliates. The equitable framework for vaccine allocation felt by the National Chemistry Sciences, Engineering and Medicine recommends that, quote, 
special efforts are made to deliver service see, vaccines to residents of high vulnerability areas, end quote. The first of the framework's four phases include people with underlying conditions, such as cancer, serious heart conditions, or sickle cell disease that put them at significant high risk of severe COVID-19 disease or death. African Americans are disproportionately represented among this group. As news academies noted, Black, Hispanic, or Latinx, American Indian, Alaska Native, and even Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19, with higher rates of transmission, morbidity, and mortality. This reflects the impact of systemic racism linked to higher rates of comorbidities that increase the severity of COVID-19 infection, and socioeconomic factors that increase the likelihood of acquiring infections such as harm from life jobs, living conditions, and access to personal protective equipment, and ability to work from home. When we are making every effort to plan for an equitable distribution plan, it's important to remember there is no vaccine right now. If the approval may be imminent, but hasn't happened yet, the vaccine is available, our best chance is to mask up and avoid large gatherings. Amen to that. Avoid large gatherings, avoid large gatherings, excuse me, is a bit of a during this holiday time. We're missing our friends and family, especially after more than eight weeks of social restrictions. But there's light in the tunnel. And we're working to make sure that it shines equally on Black America. That was from the St. Louis Amsterdam, American, excuse me, St. Louis American, out St. Louis, Missouri, by Mark Marial, headed NUL National Urban League. This Urban League works Black medical professionals to ensure that it's like seen, is safe, and will equitably distribute it. Amen. Very powerful article. One minute. We did very well in the ball summary for the past three weeks. One minute. Okay. Ball summary for the three weeks ending 7 5th, 2020. Can I read the entire? I was reading the um, top portion to save time. Cash equivalent, 2,330 bottles, $16.50. <clears throat> as well as the tenants of Brother Brian took the store on December 5th. 1,235 bottles. Total of three weeks, 3,565 bottles. Total of November, 5,292 bottles. Before 2020 today, grand total 2020, grand total for 2020 today, excuse me. 48,182 bottles, read one time. Cash equivalent, 2,333 bottles. It's $116.50. As I was up 10, so I went to the store on 7 to 5th. 1,235 bottles. Total three weeks, 3,565 bottles. Total the month of November, 5,292 bottles. Grand total for the year 2020 today. 48,182 bottles. Red clay bottles, Brother Brian, yours truly. Pit up bottle, Brother Brian. Organized oh, bottles, Brother Brian, yours truly. Supplies, sister, Brother Brian. Then you get some supplies, Brother Zeb. Brother Brian, thank you for your service. Amen. We're thinking about four of those gay bottles, cans. Put these bottles, cans coming to the top. What keeps going on? I need to, literally speaking. Amen. There are policy statement. One minute, please. Policy statement is as follows. First Community Influence Incorporated is a spiritual and cultural organization and teaching church that most women are African people. We're not a social agency. No, we serve a welfare agency. Purpose is called civil, is not the Save anyone, excuse me, but to enhance a people's original determination. But the idea to work community leader keeps the people do not follow. Support our leaders for actually tense, actually intense events and programs. Because give anyone original ideology, also as well to watch for African people. Religious aggravation is not accepted. This religion is the truth. This right ideology is duology. We are promised and service available with our people. Excuse me. 
which is one of the demands of members of Porter's our constituency. Our constituency has the right to make demands on us. Mm -hmm. That's a policy statement. I've heard yesterday. How many of the best of Code Forces Quanta? I kind of it from the um, newsletters of the CSR's offices in the stores. Um, So I, I kind of um, to rec the recommendations and um, applied to our community. Before going to an event, consider the current rate of infection in the community, what the event is. Got to think about the rest of the event. How many times will be there? Will masks be enforced? Will there be social distancing? Will there be people travel to different places outside the immediate area? If you have a concern about any of those about that, make we consider going to a particular event. You been diagnosed with a vi with the virus, or you're at risk of being exposed or having exposed to the virus. Yes, or you're wearing test results, stay at home. Then go to know how they party. If you choose to go to a party, mask up, wash your hands, and distance. Ten Quanta cards. We have some here at the Institute. They're three dollars. Open Quanta kids, blow candles with extended family via Zoom. If you're gonna do a daily um Quanta celebration, the many first shoes um thing we at home, do it by Zoom. If you're gonna have extended family, um. Try to be as organized as possible so everybody be, you know, um, coordinated and whatnot. Support by businesses as much as possible, especially this time of year. Okay. Monroe County is still in the orange zone as of um, today due to the increasing transmission of the virus. How this is going up every day. Most people through the institute are in the orange zone. So we must be careful, make smart choices. Smart choices, excuse me. As you saw, the city and the county have partnered up. They're providing three driver rapid COVID tests. Now we have four C locations. There'll be this driver will be outdoors. East High School, was in High School, during high school, for high school, all during the month of December. An apartment for asymptomatic resident, no symptoms. I'll put the link at the bottom of the video. They're free, and um, children can be tested too as long as they're adult present. They, um, if, you, if you're driving through, there's, if you have four people car to max, they'll do the entire car. They'll also do walkways as well, but Brown is a drive through site. And you're supposed to register either by going. Call 311 or going to the moralcounty.gov website. We don't register, they will take you to, but primarily they want to register to um, speed the process. Your residents are open for take home meals and learning labs, but not for recreation activities. Libraries are still closed to public, but comes a pickup to the downtown library. City Hall, Trevor Alice's office, and Bureau Park and Municipal College's office on East Main Street, to the East Main Street. Open 92, Monday through Friday. If you want more information on the um, county situation with COVID, one of the details, you can go to the dashboard at https condo slash dashboard at moral.gov. So we get a COVID alert in your app, it's on your phone. Also, you want to double check any residential business in New York State, if you want to what hotspot that they're in, you can go to ATPS, call on Black Access, code hotspot, lookup.health.newyork.gov slash hashtag slash home.
Well, cost as well. Limited seating. So please for the first course day person at home. You cannot please see me. Do that too, I can spare, but you need to get your own candles. I think for dishes and bottles, still the main quantum appeal. It still has expenses to pay, even though we're not open seven days a week. It's not much traffic as well as pre-pandemic. We still have bills. I'm running up Arjuni e, e by doing this video. The Wi-Fi runs on electricity. Any donations is not too small. If you support Institute, whether you come to this regularly or not, um, we still need your donations. I mean, you can mail your donations to, to, to um, Hamlin Street. You can drop them off, put in the mailbox, or you go to the digital options, a cash app, or PayPal. Also, once again, I'm reminding you, please follow the Georgia Senate runoff race that's going to take place during the 5th. The fate of the U.S. Senate, we decided in two Georgia Senate runoff elections. The importance of these two races cannot be overstated. According to Black Futures Lab, the U.S. Senate has the power to act on issues that affect our communities the most. Code, re code recovery and relief, criminal justice reform, resources for Black businesses, and so much more. These runoff races are bigger than Georgia. Happens in Georgia January 5th will impact the entire country. If two Democrats win, the brother of Warnock and John Ossoff, the Caucasian brother, those two Democrats win, the, the Democrat will be in charge of the Senate. Mr. Trump cannot be obstruct President Biden and President Vice President Harris's um, agenda. Democrats call the House. If need be, Vice President House will be the tiebreaker. So please, you know anyone in Georgia, remind that to vote on January the 5th. Please. What happens in Georgia January the 5th will affect us everywhere in the United States, even Rochester, for at least the next two years. I put information about the um, Georgia race bumping as well. Amen. Okay. I don't know what happened to the um, other page, but um, but um, this Saturday we have an African Mother's Day weekend. There will be con contactless drive-through flood delivery, coordinated by Brother Brian, Brother Zeb. Want to help out with that? Please contact Brother Brian. The 13th, we have African Mother's Day as well. So we have African Mother's Day weekend, the 12th and 13th. Tomorrow, we'll be having, um, so the 13th and the 20th, Sundays, we'll both be doing public um, storytelling and prayers. Today as well, we'll be doing storytelling and prayers at the end of our service. 26, we'll begin the seventh day Kwanzaa, Umoja. I was doing a YouTube Live, 6 p.m. So, so um, please hit the subscribe button on the, um, at the bottom of the video so you'll be notified. 1027, Kujakalia, the virtual service. 4 p.m., Brother Seven, Brother Brown will be coordinating. Um, Kuchakli and Ujima. 28, 29, 30, I'll be doing YouTube at 6 p.m. live for Ujima, Ujima, and Nia. Oops, oh, sorry. The 31st, Sushar will be doing a Zoom for Kumba and Imani. Information that is forthcoming. Friday the 1st, 2021. For Imani, you can feast in your own, back, in your, in your own household. 
exchange gifts if you desire. Please um remember that um just like um the authorities are encouraging people not to travel, not to travel Thanksgiving. They encourage folks not to travel um this month as well. So please, you're gonna do something. That's the last few days of the month. Some with your own family. That's the safest way. Amen. Oh, oops. Okay, I had the um. Somehow, when I add um more. Sorry about that. Somehow, when I added more slides, some got mixed up. Please, uh, because of my apologies. Okay. So we talked about that already. To um kind of this thing, four p.m. service now have hand holding and candle blowing. Amen. That being said, this year. Okay, Psalm twenty-three, Lord's prayer, reasons fall. Does my shepherd I should not want? May you lie down in green pastures. He's beside still waters. He stores my soul. These mean past righteousness for his name's sake. You know, I was a valley shadow of death. I'll feel no evil, for you are with me. You run your staff to comfort me. You prepare to be before me in the presence of my enemies. You know, my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all this in my life. And I shall dwell in the house of love forever. Amen. May love us done his holy word. Amen. And bring it back a bus of the past. Some of the culture you seen back in the day, cross your life, and my sister killer. I'm gonna just decide I'm not gonna sing it. This is gonna be a great celebration. We put quads in your life. Great celebration. Great celebration. Great celebration. Great celebration. Let we feel unity. Unity with your family, and your community. Great celebration. Great celebration, great celebration, great celebration. You'll be planning your own destiny. Great celebration, great celebration, great celebration, great celebration. What celebration it will be when you've been in your life. It's in your life. Yes, it's in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. We're together as a people. We can make things right by struggling. With all our might, with all our might, with all our might, with all our might, with all our might. What a celebration it will, this will be. We put Kwanzaa in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. What a celebration it will be. I'm sorry. You have a purpose in your life to create your own institutions and spread a life. And spread a life. And spread a life. And spread a life. How you tell me? Sort of light. Sort of light. Sort of light. Marcus Garvey. He sort of light. Sort of light. Sort of light. I saw Hobbit. He sort of light. Sort of light. Sort of light. Malcolm X. Sort of light. He sort of light. He sort of light. Mother Jordan. Sort of light. He sort of light. Sort of light. Miss Lawrence Evans. He saw a light. He saw a light. He saw a light. Don Mark Karanga. He saw a light. He saw a light. He saw a light. What a celebration it will be when you put Kwanzaa in your life. You will find the truth, the light, and the way. It's in the way. It's in the way. When you put Kwanzaa in your life. Remember, by says, Akila Ife, may you rest in peace. Amen. I know I read 1984, Tarpa, Mr. Killer. 1984, Black Country Press Lease. 2794, 295 issue. Her editorial was, is, was about Kwanzaa. It's 1984. I was in Brooklyn at the time. I was in college when she wrote this article. Where is there? I mean, Sister Killer, Ms. Evans, and Evans family. Residents family. Here are two reasons follows. We 
of First Community Innovation Incorporated, so Patricia Kwanzaa, from December the 1st, January the 1st. Kwanzaa for us is a time when our families come together, light candles, pray, reflect over what contributions we have made to the community, resist ourselves, make a commitment, and rejoice. We realize they must live positive, negative world. Many of us may think positive for those with whom we live and work, very negative. It takes some doing to stay positive in a negative world. As a man thinketh within himself, so will be the quote thought force, end quote, he sends out. During this during the quantum season, we should think about the examples we are setting humanity by our actions. There's power that can free us from self-made confusion. And when we realize this, new hope is awakened. Hope leads to effort. See your efforts? We bring results that lead to faith in greater things. Our light will flow into other things, as other minds during the quantum season. But Blama Karanga is the original of Inguza Saba, seven principles, which is a value system that we use to liberate our people. Inguza Saba can reconstruct the world of our consciousness to bring love, peace, justice, and order to our people all year round. And they are. What well, Omoja, unity. We are one with ourselves, our people, and our family. To Christia so determination. We, would, we tell about ourselves and make our way in life. The Ujima, clear responsibility. Work together and care for one another. For Ujima, corporate economics. We build our own institutions, stores, and shops, profit them together. Five, near purpose. Purpose is to build a better community. See, it's Kumba creativity. We must create a better world. Last one leads Imani faith. Number seven, we must believe in ourselves, our leaders in the richness and vision in the first struggle. With our faith, there is in the first action and the foundations to a program for spiritual growth. Come join the First Community Influence Incorporated and its quantum activities. First Community Influence Incorporated carries a torch all year round to light the way for our families, our community, and our people. That was from Mrs. Kills, 984, editorial in the first release. December 984, January 1985, special edition. And the main um, and the theme was, we give quants to you. That's the original um, purchase you see in the picture there, amen. This is kills for a time of the year. Osha's here right now, be with us. Should have gone us through this hectic, bizarre situation we're in right now. Amen. Okay, um, our audio archive is taken from the biblical interpretation. First Fruits and Kwanzaa from December 21st, 1994. Please enjoy this. Say about an hour, a minute, please.
was extremely important the purpose of the life of living. It was extremely, extremely important. And one destiny depends upon how one lives this life. This life is destiny plays out from the end before one is born. One one select the destiny when they are born and forget. And forget what they have what they what they um select to come into. And then therefore they select what they purpose of life that they want to be in their life. They live that purpose. Science has begun to, to study the genes and chromosomes, begin to study the map of, of the genes, begin to study the aspect of, of what is what, what makes a person. How, how do the hell come in being? How how they how the teeth come in being? How the feet come in being? How the color come in being? Are they most are they more accessible to drinking or, or drugs or all of this can be can can be seen in the genes and chromosomes? But unfortunately. If, if, if as, as one scientist said that if they have not thought that the Africans were so primitive, they thought it would be so far ahead. Because within the African religion, which is not talked about too much, within the African religion, which is not being really considered, they were talking about Eastern religion, we're talking about Buddhism, we're talking about Buddhism, we're talking about Islam. But very few people, people even study at all uh, the African uh, religion, the religious rituals and the stories and the proverbs. Of Africa. And most of our children, most of our people know nothing about those problems, so they cannot interpret their dreams that they have at night or the nightmares that they have. And so people can maybe they take their dreams that they have and they can protect their dreams to other people. And the, those dreams that for other people become the dreams of people who have lost conscious of, of, of who they are and who their dreams are all about. And so for for most Europeans they systemize their belief. The beliefs come into a, be a systematic system, become a system. There were certain things where they believed if you were a Christian, you were this, you were that. It was systematic. As, as technology began to begin to have creeds and dogma. Where in Africa, religion was experienced. It was experienced things. It was told by stories and problems. It was told by, by the aspect of full wisdom. It was told by divine. It was told by the aspect of, of what went on every day in the one life. Later, as I call the term, the duality, duality aspect of understanding what you do is really a religion. Scholars have discovered now that in fact of all African religions, there is a uniformity, there is something that's basic, there's something that's core to the basic aspect of religion. Of all African religions, right? There may be a thousand different religions. There are two thousand different religions. There's, there's a one aspect of some basic things that they have regardless of the religion. Whether they call God by a different name, which name would be the same thing, all called for the creator. Give them a brand new sunshine, the hope, the bear of peace. And it's funny that right in, 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 in the study of southern, southern folk ways, in southern ways, and it begins to translate from the African um, language to what uh, people say in the South. Uh, it begins to say the same meaning. Uh, um, we refer to God as being uh, not only a hope. Uh, he'll make a way out of nowhere. Um, the aspect of talking about, uh, I'm glad he woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. He discovered many of the songs that are sung, sung by by African Americans, the so-called spiritual, even the aspect of the rap, goes back to go right back to Africa in regards to understanding the meaning of that. The Bronze Age of, of well, there was no separation between the concept of God and human being. Well, well, being good, being righteous, being part of of a community was equivalent to actually knowing God. Well, one one didn't have to put down laws. Government, the men, men, men govern themselves because they did what was right, because it was it was it was natural. It was, they didn't need, they didn't need the commandments of thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, because automatically they did it anyway. And the third one like de destiny is the aspect of, of what we, we talk about in Quans and we talk about in African culture is that one find one destiny and fulfill it and within this lifetime. And where the one 
uh, fulfill their destiny in lifetime is how respected they are in, in the aspect of the community. How the children see them. How they're able to live to old age and die of natural causes. In Africa, one of the greatest one of the greatest things that was be wrong was someone to die of a murder or a suicide. That was the greatest thing for people to die unnaturally in that way. A murder or suicide was considered to be an evil upon the community. And so people didn't, didn't think children could be something that's part of the norm. Violence was not part of the norm. Violence had its, had its place, but it was not part of the community norm. And so if, 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 uh, if Africa was listening to the games of rap, then they'd be very indebted about what's going on. About how um, brothers, brothers do things to brothers. They didn't talk about what they do to animals, but man and brother and sister was, was superior, was so important. In regards to the festivals, regards to the rites of passage, regards to the divine hearing, all of that sort of understanding what Squans is all about, understanding what African people are all about, and being what they were, and trying to bring out the best. What's, what's ironic is that, is that people wonder why. And they try to make excuses for it, but it's because of a lack of knowledge of history and culture. They made, they made some stupid statements, some statements that they should be ashamed of making. They have made some statements that are totally, uh, and not only is it anti, anti uh, human, but it's anti woman and definitely anti black. They wonder why there are so many women in the church. They wonder why women are made up most of the church and men are not in the church. Which by ratio is not is not is not um, true anyway in ratio. But it, it, it's been all to realize that the whole aspect of religion was reflects from came from the writings and the teaching of, of women itself. The whole aspect of religion. It was a tribe of people, tribe of people who developed the concept of God from their writings. So it was it was it was given to men to develop the aspect of God. It was, it was given in regards to six societies that exist within Africa, what is called a mystery system, to develop the concept of God. But the concept of divinity is something different, of being divine, of being something special. In Swaziland, a, a man cannot be king unless unless the queen mother is good. And so, therefore, if the king can be as bad as he wants, he can have all kinds of bad things about it. But they, they'll look at the mother, and the queen mother will, will reflect. The aspect of a community, of a nation. And so when people say that you can you can find you can know how how how, how vast a nation is by looking at its women, you can find out how vast a country is by looking at its women, or you can find out how how um, intellectual they are by looking at the women. It's not something, it's not a concept that came out of nowhere. It's a concept that ingrained upon the aspect of, 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 of our lives as a people and as a life as being black people. Of being people are of the land and the people after descent. And so in Nigeria, there is a, a, a goddess, uh, Tamanya, who was responsible for creation. He was responsible for creation. And then there was a god called Soul, as O, who, who controlled, who controlled creation. And these things sound, sound funny to, to us as people at African dance, but if, if we were, if we said, you hope, we don't laugh at you know. But we laugh at the African is unfamiliar to us because most of us um, are not are not um, are identified with African people. We're not identified with, with black people. Um, when we first when we used to do African dance, it doesn't happen now. When we used to do African dance, folks would laugh. When we did African dance, and the black folks would laugh at African dance. When we used to do Folks would run out of the place when you did Kwanzaa, or they would laugh at you for burning sound uh, because they didn't understand the aspect of the, uh, the, the, the African rights, the children's rights, not understanding that the aspect of, of worship, the first thing that was worshipped was the woman. And everything that seemed the woman was, 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 was um, accented to the aspect of, 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 of the key part of the woman. That was considered to be the most important. That was most important. That was what was called the aspect of God. You understand that? Uh, the aspect of, a, of the God man, the Horus and Horus myths of Egypt. The aspect of the symbols of understanding where man get the idea of God would be worshipped. Understanding of the earth mother, understanding of the, 
type of content of people understanding what the first fruits was all about and aspect of, of, of people able to project their 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 depression their depression into other people not not understanding the personification of self and the aspect of not understanding the cosmetic aspect of the cosmic man and that um, the aspect of whole story by Adam being a story about a cosmetic man about a man who who was whose head was in the east and foot was in the west and the south all aspect of aspect of creation not not understanding that Christ was also about the, about the cosmetic as the co- cosmetic aspect of what it's all about and then coming to Christ or the Buddha had to deal with the aspect of what it was all about because of a man being that understanding that indeed we are part we are just part of the universe we're just part of the creation we're just a beginning of the essence essence of the soul journey of God creating that creation is not done and we're part as the sun said uh, this creation would be God's not through with me yet that goes back to the aspect of the African concept that creation is not it's not over that God is still creating. And in this creation that we are part of that creation, and that being part of the creation, what we do is either continue the creation or continue the destruction of the creation. And so the aspect of salvation becomes irrelevant. And once the aspect of liberation becomes part of that. Because indeed, how can God have a slave that, that are part of salvation? And what what make what make people really really would make them questions of being free is really how free their mind, minds are. <coughs> how do they think? What do they produce? What do they bring about? What do they what do they leave in the community? What how how are they seen by the world? How do other people see? And so like always there is a, a since the European began to tinkle with aspect of knowledge, begin to um, lie about things that was not true, but to tell a lie long enough that it has become true. That supposedly the yellow people are first, and then the white people, and then the brown people, and then every other people, and then last or third are black people. Tell curve about black folks have the lowest IQ. It's the same type of mythology that continues to go with aspect of slavery. The reason why they just by the slave or not is because we're not as intelligent as other people. And unfortunately, we continue to keep that alive by what we do in regards to our ability to establish a community, establish an organization, establish things that we should establish where we can not hold on, we cannot be able to focus that God gave us because we're we tired too, too easy. In fact, we become tired before we die. And we die before we actually die. There's all kinds of issues that we, we, we offer is an explanation of our victims is that we can't help because they're black. And because it can't happen in black, not understanding that 5,000 BC, 5,000 BC. It wasn't about up to about 3,000 years later. That would be, we're talking about 5,000 BC. We're talking about, this is 1994, the year, year 1000. We're talking about the beginning of zero years. The question I've been born here, we still have 5,000 BC, 5,000 years. We had a year, that's roughly, that's a long time. And the 5,000 BC, the concept of what a Christ was supposed to be all about was put in the pyramid of Jesus. Most of them knew about Jesus. But it was the same God of life and the light. Where everything, every religious motif that comes into existence, whether it's Christianity or Islam or Hinduism, was back back to, to 5,000 BC where they got a prototype of what a Christ is supposed to be and what a religion is all be, and everyone point back to those people who develop the concept of God, and they go even back further in regards to the tribe people, little pygmy people, little people, the small people, who developed and, 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 and put them into the world, gave to Egypt, in Central South Africa, in, in the aspect of, of what, what is now Kenya and Tanzania and, and, and Zimbabwe, the aspect of what a God is supposed to be about and how people are supposed to live. He gave aspect of the how folks would live in the community. Where indeed, where there was a community, where there was no crime. 
Black folks don't have to go to a pit, a pit school or a pit field to get away from the crime. The whole community that was out in the crime was not allowed to be in the crime. And so when 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 the uh, when the Greeks and the Asians and other people came to Africa, they call Africa Eden. They call Africa the heaven. When they run up by it, goes by the heaven because there were people of such stature, such stature, such behavior, such peacefulness, and such intelligence that they, they have to be God. And so black folk were worshipped, not only by white people, they were worshipped by Japanese. You study Japanese mythology, you'll see that the mythology originally was a, was a black man in worship. The black woman considered to be queen of, 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 of the world. That's how they saw it. That's, that's how white folks viewed black people at one time. All powerful, all knowing. And so what they would do, you should say, I don't want no white, I don't want no white, I don't want a white person to teach my children. Go give me a go give me a black person. Even if it was a slave, they said give me a black person. And so it's it's really important that we we understand the motif. The motif being the story, meaning the aspect of, of what kind of being that was in our soul and was in our mind as people. And really understand the aspect of what's going on with Confused, and a lot of times religion confuses the mind. The mind cannot meditate and understand the connection of God. The man, the man gets confused by the Bible because before they read the Bible, they don't want to teach, they don't, they don't meditate, they don't think clearly what's what's on their mind, what's really on my mind. What do I really think of the mind? So if I have my mind, my mind is about killing, but my mind is about stealing. When I read the Bible, I will see killing and stealing. I, I, I was amplified that. So how will, how will one mind be is what one see in the Bible. And so really the aspect of the Bible becomes no more than a protection of one mind. So one can find anything in the Bible if one wants to find. Because it's an outgrowth of nothing no more than created by by men. Going back to the book of dead, going back to the book of dead. The dead was is 5,000 BC. The first, actually the first Bible, it was everything that you find in this book that they call the Bible. It's taken from the Book of the Dead. And most 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 ministers have never read the Book of the Dead. Not, don't understand the Bible about the Book of the Dead. They don't even know where it comes from. And not even read it. And not, don't understand about the resurrection. And then we never know that, that Jesus was Jesus. You know, the reason why Jesus had to be born to a virgin uh, um, woman was because it, it was a motif for Christ to be born to a virgin. So there's about, there's about 28 stories about a virgin mother. But where did that come from? What do you mean by a virgin mother? They talk about the earth. The earth was a virgin, was a virgin mother. And she had to come from the earth, being born on the earth. And the earth was the, was the mother. The earth was the mother of all mankind, all women. That's just why you used to have in the creation story about Adam and Eve. We used to have a creation story about Adam and Eve. is because uh, it said, it took from, it's even in, in, in the Bible, it said that God took from the dirt and he molded man and woman. What was the dirt from in the earth? And that was the mother of, of, of all, all, all mankind. The mother was, and, and, and the earth was considered to be the mother. And what else was supposed to be so much so profound about uh, women in uh, Africa? Even you find in the in the in the in the, in the, in the um, proverbs. What, what were women so called? They were supposed to be known for their wisdom. <laughs> they were the wisdom. <laughs> they whisper in God's ear. <laughs> they were with wisdom. It was, it, was, it, was, it was men who used to gossip. Men were the gossip. And men were sitting around and gossip. Women didn't gossip. Not African women. <laughs>
family. Let me just put one another down. The worst sense of world that exists. The worst world that people will, will judge you by your intellect, by your ability, by it. And so it was all right to be intelligent. It was all right to give an intelligent answer. It was all right to be all that you want to be. It was all right to excel. It was all right to reflect upon the nature and aspects of what God is all about. It was all right to even respect your elders. I would have dare say those two years at Howard University College was outside my influence of my grandmother was probably the best years I had. I haven't found that. And with first innovation corporate, we're trying to create that. <laughs> we're trying to create that, but it's very, very hard because unfortunately most people don't come from him. Most people most people are conceiving him, even you know, they even conceive with arguments in the bedroom. And that does affect that does affect the making of the child. That does affect that does affect the making of the child. The arguments in the fight does affect the child. It does affect the child. It does affect the child. The disagreement does affect the child. The way the mother talks about the, about the father does affect the child. The way the father talks about the children does affect the child. It does so much. And so so that's the reason why many of us are going, we, we on the merry go round. We go round and round and round. You can predict, you can predict, just like you can predict the administration cycle, you can predict what kind of flow they're going to have, when they're going to have, what time they're going to have, because they have black people all around, you know what I'm saying? Like now, every, everybody's family are lovely dovey now. All the families are getting together now. They're lovely dovey. They want to get together for the great Christian man. They're all lovely. They're supposed to never get together. They're all getting together now. They're all getting together for the 20th century. They're all lovely dovey, and they're all wonderful, and they're going to get together. They're writing one another, they call one another, they plan the great big gift, they plan everything whatsoever, and the family are getting together now. They're gonna be together as a family. And when 25th is over, they'll be back at each other's home again. They'll be back at city court. They'll be back at, at, at they'll be back at family court all over again at these other folks all over again. It be said, I'm never gonna speak to her anymore. You see how she look at me? You see what she put in the potato salad? You see how she cook that cake? You see how she treat my other child? You see why she's jealous of me? All that would be part of the turmoil of the aspect of folks getting together for the holiday and getting together an aspect of being together lovely doubly for the holiday. And then they, they won't be lovely doubly again until Christmas or Easter next year or Mother's Day. You know how everybody celebrates Mother's Day? Not Father's Day. Mother's Day is a big thing. Everybody's a mother. And, and, and I guess it's May, isn't May? Everybody's a mother. Everybody gets a mother, mother. Mother's this, mother's that. Only for the day because that's not reality. That's only imitation. That's, not, that's just that's just phoniness. Because if there was that much peace in our in our community, you would feel the peace. You would feel the problem. You would feel, feel, feel the you feel the, the aspect of, of, of what peace is all about. You feel the strength. You feel the love. You feel the understanding. You feel the environment and generally the aspect of what people can achieve. And folks can only achieve when there is an environment that projects the aspect of intellectual and moral growth. If there's hell, they will partake into the wine and the whiskey world and the world of, of the dope world. In the world of, of the freak world, in the world of the pornographic world, in the world of all kind of world, because the world is there. Because it's the mind that creates the world. The mind creates the world. So whatever world is supposed to be mind, the mind creates the world. You create your hell, you create your heaven. You create that. If you don't express your thoughts and get your thought out, you will you will work a man what demons are. That's the reason why Jesus went around and getting demons out of people. It was no. Focus, focus, man. That's just when they talk about voodoo. Voodoo's not a focus, focus thing. It's reality. You, you, you bring your demons in the aspect of what you, how you create, how you think. You bring your demons. If, 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 you, if you treat the, if you teach your kid, if you, teach your, if you tell your child, you say, sit down, you dumb nigga. What you talking about? Sit down. You're just like your daddy. Stupid. You create that environment. They grow up being stupid. They grow up being dumb things. They 
God has created that way. And so it's very important. It's very important that we understand that aspect of the mind. We talk about on Sundays about actually there were, there were black folks who they thought and developed divinity and developed that concept of how to make a community better. That believe it or not, they did not think about white folks. Can you imagine when you don't think about white folks? They, they, they didn't think about anything, but when they want to get a job, they think about, well, I want to school that car in the day. They didn't think about that. They didn't have that in their mind when they think about it. They have in mind, how can they be all they could be? Where, where the mechanism will you use and use be all that you want to be? That's how I would imagine a, a world in which people thought about themselves and saw themselves in the life of being divine. And where other folks worship them. But I think of, 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 of the virtues of love, and soul, and life, which is called body, was the aspect of the first aspect of, of, of the Father, Son, the aspect of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Come, we'll go way back to, to Egypt, go way back to 1490 BC, the aspect of the Trinity, goes way back there. You know about black people? <laughs> that sounds like one God, but yet you would think if, if you would think if you ask if you, if you ask the average person about their history and about their culture and about who they are, they could not tell you. They may not even tell you who their mother or father. Maybe mother can tell you, but they won't tell you who their father. <laughs> That's their reality. Grandfather would get it. Great great grandfather would tell us. Well, we come from people who have two and seven, well, well, seven, eight, and nine, and ten, and better than twelve generations live in the in the family. So I'm trying to understand why is it that the grandmothers are taking care of the babies, and they say, well, the reason why the grandmothers take care of babies is because the reason they take care of the babies because of the children. That's partly true. Partly true is that that the grandmother always took care of the children, even the grown children. The oldest took care of the oldest took care of the grown. So the, the, the old elder said, if you don't go, it wouldn't go that way, period. That was a day long ago. But in the minds of many of us, those of us who grew up around Kwanzaa and grew up around the first fruits, we just did today. It was a day when, when a man says something, it wasn't taken death by the woman or the children. And we're done. And the grandmother enforced it to be done. We're said, Honey, you know, you know what your you know what your daddy said, you know the grandfather said? You know what he said? I do what he said. But no, 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 do what he said. Then if, if the mama didn't mama didn't agree with him, mama mama grandmother's grandpa would go behind closed doors and discuss grandpa's mistake. And then she grandpa to make a mistake again. But it wasn't, it wasn't discussed around the Trinity. It wasn't discussed around people. It was not discussed around God. And there was respect. There was respect for male and female. You didn't have you didn't have female, you didn't have female being respectful towards male. You didn't have male being respectful towards female. You didn't have you didn't have males telling out females and females telling out males. You didn't, you didn't hear that. In a peaceful environment. <laughs> you, didn't know they dis- you didn't know they disagreed because if they disagreed, they disagreed behind closed doors. I mean, that was, that was to the reign of the children. <laughs> the aspect of, 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 of crimes and understanding what crimes are all about. <laughs> you didn't have, you didn't have, you didn't have um, uh, people not excelling to the most thing they can excel to being all that they need. <laughs> And so we, we talk about this, we talk about this aspect of the just in a, in a so now we won't get into the the, the, the aspect of, of more we can do this very disseminating, but because the children here, we won't get into the more more aspect of the more complicated story thing of the aspect of let's talk about briefly about five minutes about dreams and what what we're gonna what we're gonna do here as a temple, what we do here as a family. Dreams. Dreams are powerful. That's the reason why. A lot of times my kids wonder why I don't look at um, 
um, the story, things that are scary, right? I don't look at um, things like that. Um, I don't look at um, things like that because those are images. And those images, for taking your mind, come back out. They come, become part of your soul, become part of your being. And when you dream, you dream those things. And your dream will, 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 will dream will come. And so dreams have, dreams have a lot of meaning. Tell me your dreams, I'll tell you what kind of person you are. I know your dreams, I know your mind, I know what, what you think about. If you dream with you you somebody that's happy you all the time, that's as far as somebody should be happy you all the time.
What's his name? David Cougar. We don't we don't think about we don't think about divine beings. We think about um um the great big um earth thing. When we see a black thing, like what's it, what's the name of the man who 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 had a little woman and hit the white woman and, and have her um King God. We see King God, we think of black folks. Oh my god, <laughs> So, so that whole aspect of our mind, like King Kong, one eye, one eye woman, that whole aspect of our mind, yes, creatures of the black and green and all the other things that, that, that we see. You know, we, we, don't, we don't think, we don't think beautiful thoughts. We think, we think monster thoughts. We think about how to be a monster. Just yes, don't be a monster. We never tell them be an angel. We never, we never say you, oh, you little angel. We say you little devil, you. We never say oh, you, oh, you a monster. We don't say, oh, you so. Oh, you're beautiful. I love it. We don't say that. We say, oh, get, get off. You, you, you stink. I got things that you stink. <laughs> no, you're gonna stink on you. And then we name them, we name them Booger. And uh, Booger and Spanky and, and, and all kind of names that we name them. And they become their name. They become uh, all kind of names. Uh, the name we, we become. Kiwi. Uh, become that. All kind, all kind, all kind of name that that is um that is that is, is degrading to the person, to the child. Um, lefty, um, thief, um, all kind of names that 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 we use now. Um, so all kind of names we can um um relate <laughs> because our thinking process is in the negative. We, we, don't, we don't say, oh, I can tell you, when he had just like, he had just like his bad father, he had just like his no good father, oh, she, she just, oh, she, she just like, she just like her, her mother, my uh, mother, her mother was a whore, her grandmother was a whore, you know, all that stuff becomes, all that becomes part of the mind. So, so that's what we, we put so much, we put so much negative, and we're so important, the negative aspect of it can be psychosomatic, it can cause, it can cause illness, it's real, it's not something that is played on the stress, on the strain, you can have a heart attack, you can have a, you, you, this is man who shot this boy, you can go to the night, you can put him in the shot from the store owner, and he shot the, shot the boy, and, uh, how do we kill him or not? But he shot him. Did he kill him? Huh? He shot the boy. He had a heart attack or something. He was in critical condition. It was a strain. You think that he'd be okay on the shot, but he, the strain on the top. Yeah. The, uh, the strain. The strain in his press. It's actually how you say when minister of weather. I don't want to be bothered with niggas. I don't want to have no bad. <laughs> I don't want to be bothered. I act some way when somebody leaves. I'd be glad they gone. Praise the Lord, I say. Because that's the best way. The best way. That's you know, I, I teach the way I teach. Just drive the devil. Drive the devil around. They don't feel to be walking with They don't feel to be walking with around me. Because there's too much stress and strain dealing with, 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 with devils. People who, 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 who don't have any good intentions. Who, who, who call their good intentions. And they call their bad behavior and their bad attitude and their bad. Um, the crow is good. It sounds so good. It's so good. The devil don't come to you and say, I'm going to do harm to you. He comes and say, I'm going to make you president of the United States. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And really, what he's saying, I'm going to undermine you. I'm going to do everything else. We have, we, have, we have a man who came from, we have a gentleman who came, who came, for, from, um, who came here for one of the prayers. He went and took people in the basement. He went and spent all his money and built a brand new church, got folks jobs, the church began to grow and everything else, and he kept people, and then he went and he brought somebody in to help him because the person didn't have a name. He brought them in, and soon he brought them in. That was his downfall. He spent all his money on the church, all his money on helping people, all his money on getting folks out of jail and out of prison, and the same dude that he helped was the same one that turned on him, the same dude that he had done, spent all the time with, who he helped it was the same one who undermined him, he gave him a heart attack. Now he's he, he left the, he couldn't even retire from the, to leave the church because of, 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 of the, and he built a church. He took money out and he built a 
with you. He working folks out on basement. He built a church. He helped folks get jobs. He built a church. And they ran him away. <laughs> and they all told him, how oh, we love you. So they, they, we got to be very careful of, of all of that. We got to be very careful of all that because they say heaven. Is, the way say to hell, hell is put, to heaven is paid with good intention. Hell is paid with good intention. Hell is paid with good intention. And so in order, to, in order to be all that you can be, it's a start with the mind and start with the community enforcement. And when you have a community that projects the thing, then you've got to start with yourself. You've got to project yourself. You've got to develop a community that will, that will build things that are part of the other. You've got to develop a community. You've got to think of a community. You know, that there's, there's folks every day who go to school. They look good when they go to school. New dress every day. New socks every day. New everything every day. But they the best, new got money in their pocket, but they, they are dumb as a dodo for us. They dumb. You ask, you ask them what they class they say, mm, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. And when they get out of school, the first thing they know, they be going to social service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they don't even know. <laughs> they don't know about no job. Job, what is it? They have to fill an application out. They say, oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? What's ADD? Uh, oh, yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, I live, I live on Hamilton Street. How do you spell Hamilton Street? What's my telephone number? But you can look so good. But, but remember, they can't they can't even, they can't even spell G O J O B job. What do you want? What position? What position you want? B O B. That's job. This is serious because unfortunately, I, I make a joke out of it, but it's true. It's true. You want to know you 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 deal with some down men. You know you deal with some very down men. I'm not saying you should go. I'm saying you deal with some down down men. I'm sure they have, I'm sure they have said there was a dumb, dumb woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, 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 so it's important that we, we understand and comprehend the reality of, of what we got to do as a people to begin to have a better thought of ourselves and who we are. Uh, I remember one, I remember one time with, at least a clue, I remember one time, uh, a man was sitting on a bus. He was going to Boston, D.C. And the bus driver announced that he was going to Baltimore, Maryland. And then he know the Baltimore, Maryland was to stop. And then he go to Washington, D.C. He go to Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, then he go to Washington, D.C. And his sister said there, his sister said, Oh, we are on the wrong bus. We, this bus going to Baltimore. And I said, No, man, this is D.C. He goes, Stop the bus. And so all of it got off. The bus was wrong. Because if I was on the wrong bus, the bus pulled out, and then he went to Baltimore House of D.C. I'm not happy with them. They all, they all were convinced, this was convinced them that they were going to roll up. You know, and so this is, this is what happens this, this happen sometimes. A lot of times, women can convince you you're on the wrong track. And they, be on, they, they want to convince you on the wrong track, because not because they want to do it on purpose, but they, they just don't know. They, just, they, they, have, they don't even know. All they ain't learn about the proof and, and, and how do they have. How do they bring in the That's something they learn how to do things that are external, not the internal. They learn they learn. They learn they learn nothing else. And so they, they, they lead you astray. And so that's that's important, and that's that's what we need on the system. So also is the time that we, we try very hard to, to not to do that, not to lead you astray. And so we do all we listen to so please. We'll turn it to That was Ms. Evans. Um, we had our book on certification class um, from December 21st, 1994. Book Interpretations, Kwanzaa, and the First Fruit. May you rest in peace. I hope you end um, As you always said, and Kwanzaa is not a time for us to go astray. And versus the climate we're in now, we definitely must pull together and not go astray. Amen. Um, before I give my final thoughts or read two quotes, um, how to make the most of COVID 
Kwanzaa, uh, I got it from the um, December issue of In Good Health, the Rochester Genesee Valley Health Care newspaper. Um, you normally see that um, Wegmans or doctor's offices and hospitals carry them as well. So I doubted that the article was written by, was really, the original article was how to make the most of a COVID, COVID Christmas, the message carried Dillo. So I kind of doubted and put how many of a COVID versus Kwanzaa, put our, from our perspective. Okay, um, I'm going to read a couple quotes. First, from churches from my hometown of Brooklyn, first by Congresswoman. Number three was um, nicest anniversary of her birth. And a real quote um, from one of the killer's books. Um, she had a book called Many Strong and Beautiful Voices. Quotations from Africans throughout Quotations from Africans throughout the diaspora. Okay, and this quote from Shirley Chisholm in the action section. By trying to strip off the mask that make people uncomfortable in the midst of chaos. Perhaps I can get things moving. That's why I lay Shirley Chisholm. Make sure it's in peace. Okay, last quote is from that's Andrew Young. Andrew Young is one of the last viral members of the um, civil rights movement. He lost three comrades this year. He lost um, Reverend C.T. Vivian, Reverend Joseph Lowry, and Cousin John Lewis. All in a matter of a um, four month span. This year. So he's one of the few surviving civil rights icons left. And I'm reading from the same book in the action section. Our progress has never depended on the, pre on the president or the Congress. It has always depended on the actions of Black people and power of God. Amen. This concludes first student virtual student duology hour quantum appreciation program for Sunday, December 6, 2020. And I thank you for watching this with me. Hope you got um, some information today that will help you. So ladies, please um, be aware we'll be delivering flowers to you this coming Saturday at 12. Um, just want to close out. Um, please, please be careful. Make smart choices. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Distance. 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 If we can do these things together as a community and, and in large, we can get this situ COVID situation down. I love you all. Have a safe day of the week. Until next time. Harambe, 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 Asher. Amen. I love you all. Have a good day. Peace out.